Now this is part three of our dot product series. This time we're going to find the angle between two vectors. Uh, so we're going to use the fact that we've got two ways to find the dot product uh, to allow us to do this. So two vectors here and we're going to find the angle between them. Now I'm just going to get a rough idea of what that's going to look like. So uh, negative i plus 2j, so negative i plus, so 1 across and 2 up. So that first vector looks like that. Uh, this next one is negative i minus 3j. So that next vector looks like that. So I imagine my angle is going to be bigger than 90 degrees, maybe like 150, 140, 130, something like that. That's what it looks like to me. So that's my rough idea, but now I'm going to find the exact answer. So, I'm going to use my dot product, u dot v, and I'm just going to do it by multiplying my coefficients. So, negative 1 times negative 1, plus uh, 2 times negative 3. Uh, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, uh, plus 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. And I get a dot product of negative 5. Now, that's one way to figure out the dot product. Now the other way to figure out the dot product, and the thing that's going to make us be able to do this, is the fact that the dot product is also equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cos of the angle between them. So we're going to use that formula. Now I already know that the dot product is negative 5. And if I knew the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v, that would be very handy. So I figured out my magnitudes. That was pretty fast. Um, the magnitude of u is root 5, so I can put that in there. And the magnitude of v is root 10, so I can put that in there. And we're going to multiply that by cos theta. Okay, so I might just do one more line there, negative 5. I know that root 5 times root 10 is root 50. Uh, times cos theta. Okay, now I need to get theta by itself to solve that. So I'm going to do minus 5 over root 50, and that's going to be equal to cos theta. That's pretty good so far. Now I could simplify that third there, but I'll just leave that there for a second. Um, now, theta is going to be equal to Inverse cos, inverse cos of that. Now if I type that into my calculator, and you should try this because your calculator might be in radians mode or in degrees mode, uh, it's going to have to be in degrees mode to spit out the right answer. If I type this into my calculator, I will get theta equal to 135 degrees. Now is that right? Uh, probably, because I drew it at the start and that looks like it's probably 135 degrees. So I'm going to count that as a win. Uh, that's using one formula for the dot product, um, using the second formula for the dot product, rearranging and then finding that angle right there, theta is equal to 135 degrees. That is our third and final installment of the dot product.